The drywall has been sanded and it's ready to paint. So I've got my sprayer here. This is the same sprayer you saw me use in the video where I painted the outside of the house. Um, so you can see it's got this long hose and I can run it into each room. So what I'm going to be doing is spraying and back rolling in the rooms that I'll be painting in. I've got this big canvas tarp to kind of try to help it keep it off the floors just a little bit. And then for the windows, let me show you a close up of what I did. Um, covered in plastic, but then around the edges of the windows there is a gap and then there's a piece of foam on the inside of the actual replacement window that makes the uh, seal in between the window and the wooden frame. So I used a spackling knife and tucked in the plastic all the way around and then ran some tape around to make an actual seal. So all the windows are completely protected against uh, paint and drywall dust. And I am going to leave this plastic on there um, until the very, very last opportunity to remove it basically, just to keep my windows nice and clean. So everything is sanded. The uh, porter cable drywall sand that I rented was perfect. Um, so it's all ready. Everything's smooth, ready for paint. And this is, um, I'll show you the kind of primer that I got. I'm saying paint, but I got to prime first. Right there, Valspar Drywall Primer Sealer. You got some really good reviews. Um, $60 for five gallons. I bought two five gallon buckets of it. So we'll see how far we get on this one. And I'm pretty darn sure we're going to be using at least two. Um, so, one of the things that it said on the reviews for this specific drywall uh, primer was um, that it is high. Well, it covers up little imperfections here and there. And this is my first drywall job so it's not flawless um, the drywall sander left some little marks here and there from where I was a little too aggressive with it but for the most part I went back in smoothed things out um, but uh, people were saying that this specific primer does a good job at uh, building up thick enough to cover up little spots another thing I did well that I'm doing in each room that I go into is I'm very quickly running over the room and wiping it down with this sponge here with it real damp just to remove any drywall dust. Not sure if that's gonna, probably can't see that, but when you rub on the walls, it kind of stirs some dust up. Uh, the drywall sander did a good job, uh, did a good job of removing that dust, but the one thing that does happen is I go back in all of the corners and clean them up with a little sanding sponge, and then that creates a lot of dust. And then last night, worked here till about midnight, uh, so it's pretty late. I went around the whole house and cleaned it up really good, um, and then ran the shot back over all the floors. And then for the most part, I've got everything outside um, piled up, just uh, keeping it all out of the mist that's gonna be all in this house. And I'm gonna toss a big tarp over my box to keep little white specks off of it. But as soon as I get done doing this primer, I'm going to be shooting some white ceiling primer on the ceiling. Uh, I mean, white ceiling paint on the ceiling, and then the walls, I will roll them. Since the primer's white on the walls and the ceiling, when I come back and do my ceiling white, a little overspray won't hurt anything. But as far as putting the paint that goes on the walls, it might be some sort of off-white or some sort of uh, uh, muted kind of color. And that's going to be way too difficult to do the spray job on that. So I'll come back in and roll all that. So let's get started. So I slapped on my painter's costume and got to going. This is one of those uh, 3M or Tyvek painter's suits. It's just a one piece. Uh, it's like a little onesie for painting. And it's pretty simple. I mean, I'm just spraying on the paint and then I go back over it all with a roller, um, not dipping it in a pan or anything like that. I'm just kind of rolling out the uh, surface. It's called back rolling and it just helps the paint adhere better to the wall and evens out any splatter or any other sort of uneven painting um, that comes from the sprayer. But in general, painting with a sprayer is very even. You don't end up with roller marks. It's very fast. Um, you're going to have people who can tell you they can paint faster with a roller, but I don't believe them. I mean, that thing can spray into corners uh, great. And there was my GoPro camera. I thought it was kind of funny. I just kind of shrouded the tripod and the camera from that overspray that happens. So there's the uh, process of painting, just spraying and back rolling. 
Well, GoPro camera does time lapses, and I've become addicted to it. It's pretty fun doing them. And I added a little bonus footage to this video of doing a little bit of the painting. My lovely little new wife um, going around with the color she chose for the dining room and then also the bedroom. It's called a Grey Ghost. I think it's an it's Olympic brand is who makes that. So we did roll that finish on because otherwise you'd uh, just end up with an overspray on the ceiling and it would be too much trouble to actually mask all that off. So I just cut around the um, top corners and she followed behind me rolling the paint. Well, that's all, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, in a future video, I'll be going through the house and sort of showing you a more finished uh, result of this paint job. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Click on the red subscribe button on the screen now, and you'll get updates when I post future videos. Thanks for watching.